Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to Ark Aberration. We're going to be heading down to get a rock drake egg today, or at least attempt to get one. So let me show you, like usual, before we go. First of all, that is one of the glow sticks. So I did color up. Those are blue. It's a navy blue. So we are taking a stack of those with us. I've made quite a few climbing picks. I made more than we had last time. I've got our hazmat suit on. I did color, but the color gets messed up when you put a skin on it. And I did have to bring the wings. That's kind of the key for getting down there fast. I got a second suit that we will keep just in case something happens to our first one. The chest does kind of deteriorate as you use the flying, the, the glider suit. So that's kind of something to keep in mind there. We're taking the Megalosaurus with us. He does not take radiation damage. And that's kind of it, man. We're just going to try to go down and get the eggs. So let's go ahead and we'll just go from here. We'll leave our light pet off for a few minutes to kind of hold our charge that he has. And we'll be coming up right over here. Right over here is the waterfall that goes down in. It turns into element. And it's actually where we got the lamprey from a couple of videos ago. So just for reference, that's the waterfall. Right down here by the waterfall, you don't start taking radiation damage yet. There's kind of like a little safe zone. But... We're going to be heading straight down to where the rock drakes are. If you end up having to run down there instead of flying, you just stay to the left over here, kind of cross over, and then this goes all the way down. That's that's the spine right there that goes down in. We're going to kind of grab whatever we can on the eggs. I, of course, like the highest level, but we just need one so that we can get the other ones easier. Because the rock drakes, whenever you come down here on one, it's easy to climb up and down the walls. You don't have to worry about the picks that do break very, very frequently. And then it's kind of like stealing wyvern eggs. As soon as you take one, dude, all the ones around are coming for you. And they just don't stop. So that's why I have a high-level megalosaurus to bring with us. A good way to tell where the rock drake areas are is the yellow lights down here. So the yellow lights is kind of... It's kind of like where the trenches are. And I think we might have gone down too far. We need to glide over this way a little bit. Nope, we're good, we're good. Because this loops around. Kind of follow the path so I don't get lost. It's, it's really easy to get lost down here sometimes. But there's a couple different areas where you can get them from. But this is the one we're going to. So there's a the trench right there that has them. And then there's another area right back there. That's the one we're going to hit up first. Just because there's three nests there. And it's really easy to get them and get out. And down here you got to kind of climb in and climb out. So let's get down over here. We'll throw our Megalosaurus out. And try to sneak up in there without being seen. But you see there's rock drakes all over, man. And there's one right there, right where I was going to land. All right, let's throw him out so he's ready for us. We do have to watch out for the Seekers and for Nameless down here, as well as the Rock Drakes. But yeah, man, there's all kinds of stuff down here. There's Element Ore. There's the Organic Polymer you can pick. We do want to take these guys out as we get up there. That way, it's going to be less for us whenever we steal the egg. The eggs are also used for taming basilisks, so any of the low-level ones, we will keep if we can. And we need to turn you off so you don't harvest anything, because you're going to get full very fast. We'll leave a little bit of meat in there with them. Alright, so there's three nests here that usually spawn. You can see one of the eggs right up there, and then the other two are on the side here. But what we're going to do is get him around. Let's check our suit. We should be fine. Yeah, see how much more damage that's taken versus my other parts? All right, put him on passive. We do not want him to run away if we get attacked or if he gets attacked. And we'll check. We'll check this egg first, and then we might be able to see those two other eggs if they've even spawned in. It's kind of a 
you know, 50-50 chance where they spawn at. And let's back up. There we go. Easier to see like this for climbing. So on the climbing picks, you got like a green little bar there you can see. That means you can attach. Red means you can't. And if it turns blue, that means you're going to detach. And like, it's a kind of like a surface to stand on. So we need to start crossing over a little bit. The durability runs down so fast on these things. All right. Cool. So what level are you? A level 68. And it looks like there's only one more over there. None of them spawn in the middle. So I'll tell you what, what we're going to do is fly over here. We'll check that one up there, grab it, fly over, grab the other one, and we should have enough time to still get on our Meg before the Rock Drakes come for us. Hopefully, that's the plan. Usually doesn't work, but you know how it goes, man. Let's see if we can find a surface attached to. Dude, let me up, man. There we go. another reason I wear the wingsuit because if you go to fall at least you can fly down you can't catch yourself with these but it does take so much of the durability away and they usually break depending on how far you're how far you're falling <gasps> almost fell there speaking of that well that's a level 16 so those are both bust so what we're gonna do like I said, we'll grab this one, quickly fly over, grab this one and jump on our Meg, and they're going to be coming for us. Yep, you can already see them come in. Oh, let's get to our team first. There we go. And we need to go down. I want to check the ones down further to see if there's any down there that are better. Actually, I think what I want to do is put him in a cryopod. Yeah, see, there's one right there. We might be able to fly directly into that nest. We'll have to throw him out right away, though, because they're going to be coming for us still. Are we good here? We are. All right, buddy. Let's cryopod you real quick. And let's get down over here, fly right in. We cannot miss our mark on this one. Nice. What level are you? Oh, 116. Dude, there's another egg over there, though. All right, so we're going to grab this, float over as far as we can that way. That's the ramp right over there is a the ramp that we came. We came this way, so we need to go back to the left. Alright. Let's float as far as we can. I don't think there's any behind us, is there? Nah, no nests that have eggs in them. Oh, dude, it's gonna be bad. Oh, there's one there. Can we make that nest? Oh, dude, please, please, please. Nice! What level are you? I don't care! Get on her! Oh, get on him! <laughs> I don't know what level it was, but it don't matter. Oh my gosh, you're all coming in. Look at them all, dude. They're just like raining down. <laughs> That's why you bring a high level team. Holy crap. I really want to check that one, though. Thing is, we need to climb up there. You can walk out of here, but dude, it is such a long ways to go. Yep, I thought I heard something. The problem is, we need to climb up that side regardless to get out. And I do not want to have one of these attack me while I'm trying to climb out, you know? We good? See, back when this came out, 
and I played last, there was no such thing as cryopods. So you couldn't just throw anything in your pocket and call it good. You actually had to really keep track of what you were doing. So these are 50 pounds each. They are pretty heavy. So 116 is our highest level one. These other ones, low level ones, we'll keep those for the basilisk team. I'm really scared to put him in a cryopod. But we need to do it to get out of here. And we need to change our picks out too. For a better one. Alright, we need to get out of here. Where's that other one at? I lost track of it. Is it right up there? I think it's right up there. Tell you what, we might be able to just jump over there. Now let's see where we can go climbing. So we'll raise that level 116 up if we get it out. And then use it to come down and get a higher level. I can't remember if they cap out at like 190 like the wyverns do. <gasps> Dude, I just fell through the world. Oh my gosh. Did you see that? Oh, and I missed it. Dude, where are we even at, man? We just glitched through the world. Oh, we're back by the spine where it goes down. I wonder if I got caught in the train when I was trying to climb up that one side there. That's what it looked like. Oh man, I wanted to check that last egg. Well, we are almost up actually. We still have all of our eggs? We do. We got our Megalosaurus. Well, I guess that kind of worked in our favor. Uh, right over there should be the waterfall that goes up that we came down on. But, we need to figure out how to get out of here first. I kind of need to go down to go up. Man, that kind of sucks, dude. Well, we'll just take the ones that we have for now and call it good. I don't want to have to run all the way back down there because, dude, it is such a long trek. Let's take a look off the side here. I want to make sure where we're at. Yeah, that right up there is a bioluminescent zone, so we are literally almost back at the top. Well, we didn't miss much. It's uh, literally climb back up that, that kind of cliff that we were at, and then you just run up this ramp the whole way. Let's go ahead and throw this guy out. We'll run up. We still have a very, very high cliff to climb to get out of the red zone down here. That's the only thing about coming up down here or coming down over here is trying to get out of this place. I don't have any zip lines ran. I was wanting to run some for my Ravager, but it's really sketchy because you're kind of dangling over the Element River. And if you mess up and your Ravager doesn't attach to the zip line correctly, and he falls, you lose everything. It's almost instant death whenever you jump into it. So yeah, right up there is a waterfall where we got the lamp rays at, so... I guess all we did was just cut off all that extra in between. I would have... <laughs> I would have cut out of the video anyways. Oh, there's a feather light. That's one of those other... light pets. Level 64. I do want to tame one of all four light pets while we're on this map. We haven't seen any glow tails yet. That was a Spino. Carno, is that a Megalosaurus down here? I wonder why that's down here. Those shouldn't be down here. Speaking of light pets, yeah, I didn't know if ours was on or not. Well, there's two ways we could go. We could go over this way to go up. It's less climbing or just climb straight up here. Let's go this way, show you guys what's around here. It kind of comes up around the same area anyways. And there's some Seekers. Oh, and there's Perlovia! Make sure he's on neutral. Yep, Perlovias. We're not stopping. We're going to just run right through them. That's the last thing I want to do is get knocked off over here. This will help out, though, with not having to climb quite so high. And I really wish you could hit those crystals and get red ones from it, but you can't. I right, Drake didn't follow us. 
And we're out of stamina. Fantastic. Let's go ahead and drop some of this weight while we're doing this. Get rid of all this prime meat. And all that junk. Oh, we got oil. Where'd we get oil from? I do want to take that, though. We'll hold on to the oil, because we will be dropping his bag and crowdpotting him to climb up. I think we're going to do it right over here. Need to find somewhere kind of flat. Oh, man, it's an earthquake. Come on, dude. Yeah, right here is really, really easy to get up. And this is going to come up over by, right by the boom, bioluminescent zone as well. It's a nice place to recharge your health if you need to. All right, this should be good. It looks fairly easy to climb. Put him in the crowd pod real quick. We are getting thrown a war round from the earthquake. Ooh, red gem. Of course. Now that I don't need it, thank you. Dude, come on. I want to get him in the crowd pod. <laughs> come on, man. All right, that ain't gonna work at the moment. Let's just run a little bit further up here to the earthquake's done. This does just lead further up the spine. All right, we done with? Now that this cliff is higher over here. Okay, we'll climb up right here. I can't remember if this loops around to where you don't need to climb up. All right, up we go. Gonna say no surface to climb on. Better let me up here. Gotta watch our stamina. Do not want to run out. It doesn't drop you, it just makes it where you can't move. You can regain stamina by just not moving. I think that loops around, man. I might not have needed to climb up there. That's not where I thought it was. All right, there's a seeker. Yeah, that's where I thought we were, right over there. Let's get this drop while we're down here. But we are almost back up to safety. See if we can get it before that seeker gets to us. Seekers, there's more multiples. Don't need anything from there. Come on, man. I don't want to turn my light off because I'd rather deal with the seeker than the nameless. And there's another feather light. Right, so we just need to scale this cliff over here and we'll be good. Where do we want to do it at? I think right over here. That looks not too bad right there by the corner. Oh, I don't know if we can get ripped off of our Megalosaurus by another Megalosaurus. Okay, well, let's go up here. It's very flat and I know exactly where that comes out at. They still coming? Of course they're still coming. What kind of question is that, man? like rabid dogs. All right, I'm going to sit here for two minutes because as soon as we get up top there, we will need to throw our Megalosaurus out. And I need to wait for my cryo sickness to go away. I might actually, now I'm pretty full on weight. I'd like to get some of those red crystals, but all right, we'll see you back in a minute and then we'll scale this wall and be back at home. Oh, there's a place here to a very safe spot. I can turn our light pet off and let him recharge. All right, so we're looking pretty good. These things do heal you a little bit, 
and then you also can turn off your light pet and it keeps the nameless from coming by but we're gonna go ahead and cryopod our megalosaurus again and climb up that cliff let's trade out this for another one that way we got enough picks and then we'll head up this and be right by base we're not too far at all from it Should be a fairly easy climb. It's not as far as going up that other waterfall. That's way back there, thank goodness. That one's pretty sketchy too. I just don't want to clip through the terrain again and get uh, thrown back somewhere else. There is a motorized zipline tool that you can clip to your belt. We'll play with that later in another video, but then we can, oh, we are out of stamina. But then we can set up zip lines through here and not have to worry about using the climbing pick. It just takes gasoline and then that attaches to your pants, kind of like how the wingsuit attaches to our chest piece. And it'll make getting up and down easier, but we'll have a rock drake soon and won't have to mess with any of this. And here we are. Very nice. Let's get old dude back out. At least we don't have to worry about Nameless. If he would have knocked me off there, dude, I would have been so mad. <laughs> but if you don't know where we are, right over there is where we ran down with the Megalosaurus um, to get the very first set of red crystals when we attached that lamprey to us. So that's kind of a reference point of where we're at. And base is just right over here around the corner. Not far at all. So I'll see you back when we get there. It's going to be a slight run up here. All right, here we are, man. Final stretch. I forgot we have to run. Had to run all the way around because I didn't want to throw the Ravager back out. Checking our little turret while we're here. See how the batteries are. Shouldn't be too bad. Oh, wow. It's already used one battery. Holy crap. I might need to put some more in there. I didn't realize it took so much power to run those things. <gasps> oh, dude, I thought it was going to fall off. Well, we made it back. Safe and sound. I don't think anything's in him. It's not. Let's go ahead and get this suit off. I hate the way that it looks. Ah, there we go. Nice. So let's throw an egg out. I don't know if we're going to need to build anything too... too hot. So it's going to need to be real cold. So we are going to need to build some air conditioners. What do we need for those? Everything except for electronics. Well, I'll tell you what. We'll go ahead and leave this one here. I will get everything ready for us so that we can get some air conditioners put out. I'm um, guessing we'll probably need two or three of them. And then we'll hatch some Rock Drake eggs and take one for a test spin. And maybe go right back down in there to try to grab some more. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Anyways, going to go ahead and leave this one here. Hope you enjoyed the video. As always, thanks for watching. And we'll see you in the next one.